Welcome back. The largest traveling collection of equine art and artifacts ever assembled is at the Kentucky Horse Park. And we welcome Bill Cook, Museum Director for the International Museum of the Horse, with some of the details. Thank you for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, we know that there are so many world-class exhibits and features there at the Horse Park and the International Museum of the Horse already. And this is kind of a unique way that some of those treasures have been shared with folks all over the country and, and now are on display at the Horse Park, too. That's true. And even will be traveling, traveling internationally as uh, as soon as it leaves here, goes to San Diego, and then it's it's off to Europe and the Middle East. And uh, but it was it was really a nice surprise for us when uh, we had participated in the in the formation of this exhibit with American Museum of Natural History, but with World Games and all coming up, really just didn't have a chance to. We feel bring it in at that time, but they had a cancellation, and so last minute, uh, we're able to host our first off-season uh, major exhibit. But it's uh, it's the largest traveling exhibit on horses ever put together. Uh, features 150 wonderful artifacts, and uh, it's just plain fun. Uh, it's amazing when you've got a staff like they've got in New York. Uh, the things that you can do, but there's lots of buttons to push, and uh, I, I think anybody who sees it's really going to enjoy it. And one of the things uh, as well with this is it's uh, involving some of our local educators and students with uh, a component for them to incorporate some of this into their uh, lessons with children? Well, we certainly hope so. It's uh, the first time that we've been able to bring a major exhibit in during the school year, so it's really a departure for us in that way, but... Uh, it, the educational materials are all prepared for it. Uh, they had extensive uh, material that they did in New York, and then we came back in and uh, worked on an entirely different set that's compliant with CARA cur curriculum. So we want to see tons of kids coming through there after Christmas. And something uh, else that's uh, that's neat is how this is uh, all included in your admission, so you don't have to worry about anything extra for that? Well, actually, there's three ways that you can come and see the horse, and all of them are pretty good deals. One, you can buy the, the $10 horse park ticket, and it's included in that. Uh, but for the first time, we're offering a museum-only ticket, hmm. and that's $8 for uh, adults and $4 for for kids and seven and under are free, and that includes not only the horse exhibit, but also the rest of the museum and the American Saddlebred Museum. Right, and you see there it's running now through April 6th, and we know uh, we've mentioned a lot of folks coming in out of the horse park too for Southern Lights, so what a great opportunity that's to... That's true. To that's, uh, that's the third way you can see it. Uh, we have included it in the regular Southern Lights ticket so there's no additional charge so it's a good time to come see Santa Claus the trains and uh, also have a chance to see a world-class exhibit that's wonderful and we thank you of course appropriately enough bringing a horse well, for our to toys for horse. tots campaign yeah. what else would you bring right then we'll that, be sure to add that to that's compliments of the horse park gift shop well great some wonderful gift ideas out there too see so much to do we've got it all that's covered <laughs> thanks so much for being with us oh no, it's fun good to see you you too we will be right back with more news and weather after this